Well, I feel a lot better about winning a kind of an ugly game, 30 to nothing. I did lose by 49 last week. Uh, you try to happy that up, and the bottom line is it's a loss. And, uh, tough to recover from. Um, I thought uh, uh, Lindenwood played hard. I, th I knew they had some good players. I really did. You can't go to Northern Colorado and win a game and not have some guys in the lineup. Um, I thought uh, um, our defense, uh, anytime you shut a guy, team out in this day and age and hold them to 147 total yards, that's a, that's a great effort. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited about how they played. And it emulates you know, the team we play next week a little bit. They're not as good, obviously. And the run game is, is not as strong, but at least we'll get those formations, so that'll be a help, a good prep for us. Uh, special teams are spot on, except for opening kickoff. Uh, and uh, that was just a mistake from the get-go. Uh, but uh, all in all, it's a win, and I'm excited about winning. I'm always excited to win a game, folks. It's never a problem. What was Dante's injury? And did he, did he well, um, according to the x-rays, he doesn't have a broken hand. But it, it happened in the first drive. Um, uh, when we ran option, and he went down, and, he came, and we scored on the next play, I believe, to go up 7 nothing. and he came to the sideline with a funny, he was holding his shoulder and I thought, oh, boy. Well, it was his hand, and as his hand started to swell up, he couldn't feel the football. And uh, basically uh, said we, we ran in what's called 123, where he's out in the perimeter, and uh, threw the ball in the second row, I think. He says, Coach, I can't feel the ball, so I'm not helping him. So um, we, no problem, let's go to Josh. And we got an x-ray at halftime, and it's negative as of right now. But his hand looks like a fighter's hand. It's, it's puffy. So uh, I think Josh did a very good job of uh, doing what he does. What can you say about the defense? I mean, they were really good. Minus 10 rushing. I mean, they just couldn't get anything going. No. Um, and and uh, I challenged our, our front four at halftime because we were getting pressure, but we weren't getting it from them all the time. And they got after the second half with just four. So, uh, um, you know, defensively, we're going to go as Tyler Starr goes. And the reason is, is he's a one-man pressure machine. Even if he doesn't get him sacked, he has to pull up quick. Uh, so there's a lot of hidden plays on there, too. Anytime you have a special pass rusher, he makes the whole world easier. And uh, maybe a little bit of uh, uh, residue from last week, this week? Absolutely, good call. Um, we were in a supercharged environment in front of 80,000 people. And you could have thrown a grenade in there and not killed anybody today. Um, and um, it, it's hard, you know, playing against with some mighty Badgers. And you watch TV and you're on ESPN, and all of a sudden you got a team these guys know nothing about. I, we, we, they respected them on film because they saw them. They got some guys. We knew that. But uh, I. I, uh, we got Southern Utah coming next week. It's like you kind of want to wish your way through this game, and that's really what it looked like for a while. And give them credit. They got the way. I mean, these guys lined up. They're, they're a quality team. I, I, I like what they do. I think their coach is bright, young. I think he's one of the best young guys in the country. So uh, I know some of their guys, Coach Melvin, I've known for years, so I knew they were going to play hard. Even with Dante going down, uh, how did you feel about the way the offense? Well, then uh, once Dante, once we got him, to where we, we could figure it out. I thought Josh did a really good job. Uh, early on, we just tried to manage ourselves, and, and then uh, I told Wes, we need to link. We need to throw the football with him uh, because he can do it. Uh, and we asked Josh what he's comfortable at halftime. Uh, and uh, I, I think, uh, you know, like, to me, if we, I would like to score more points, but uh, you know, we only scored 10 last week, so we scored 30 this week, so we're three times better than we were a week ago. <laughs> Southern Utah might come in here late with their wins next week. Yeah, they lost. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but uh, uh, it, it, the bottom line is they're coming here. And we're excited about it. We're, we, I, I am excited to play that team. It beat us like a dog last year at their place. Um, this is a this is a big game for us. So we it's been a give, big game from the beginning of the season, and I, I'm excited about it. You'll see a different group out there next Saturday. Uh, uh, what talking about that next game next week? What are some things that may that uh, challenge for you guys? Well, number one, you have to stop the run game. Uh, everybody thinks they're, they're going to wing it. Yeah, they are going to throw it, but if they, if they bait you with that run game like they did last year, um, they open up their whole playbook. That's that, that's the problem we had with them last year. Our first few years we beat them because we handled their run game completely and made them throw it on our terms. We have to do it. It's very similar to our game plan against uh, Eastern Washington. You've got to handle their interior run game and then be very physical on the perimeter. The quarterback's a very good player. I don't know whether the receivers are going to have good players. They'll be big as life up front, long, big kids, uh, uh, and 
I, I think they do a good job. But uh, we're, we're excited about that game. We truly are. Uh, Shane, what's it, it's got to feel good to get a shout out regardless of who you're playing, I think. Yeah, definitely. Anytime you get a shout out, it's good. Uh, our defense played well today. Uh, our D-line got going in the second half, which helps a lot. Having Tyler Starr out there getting pressure on the quarterbacks helps us. His DBs a ton. Uh, corners played really well, too, today. I'm not taking anything away from this team because I thought they were pretty decent, but how, how much of an adjustment was it coming from playing a team like Wisconsin than, you know, these guys? You know? Yeah, it's, uh, well, obviously, it's a lot different atmosphere to go play in the Big Ten, but you come back and we, you get ready for a game the same way. We prepare the same way, so we just come out knowing we got a game. And anytime you got a game, you got you to gotta win the game. So, yeah, the, definitely the speed of the game is going to be a lot different and stuff like that. But. How about minus 10 yards rushing? That's what they have. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, uh, I didn't even know that, but we came out, we knew they were going to throw the ball out, and we said right after that, we just got to shut down the run and make them one dimensional. So we could sit out there with a couple more DBs and just make them throw it. And I didn't even know they had that, but. Well, now it's time for the conference season. You know, you've been, been waiting for this game for quite a while. And here it is next week. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely been our goal from the get-go. It wasn't our goal going into the season wasn't to beat Wisconsin. Obviously, we want to win every game. Our goal is to win the conference, and that's been my goal since I've been here. This is my fourth year, so we haven't done it yet. And hopefully, this is our year. Uh, last year at Southern Utah, they got you pretty good. What were some parts of that game that, that made made it tough on you guys? I don't know. That was uh, honestly that was one of the toughest games we played, and I know that because uh, I don't know what we came out just flat. And their quarterbacks, they, they got good players on the team. They got they got great offense throwing the ball. And we came out flat at their place. You can't come out flat on the road because it's hard to get your wheels going, but. We played them two years before that. We played really well, so I don't know if that was part of it or what. But uh, hopefully, we can come on off fire and we play well. We usually seem to play good at home. Questions? <laughs> well, you're, you're kind of forced into action, kind of fast there. It looked like you, you know, stepped right in, and took over. Yeah, I always try to be prepared to play. I mean, gotta be prepared, like I'm gonna play. And you know, I don't. I never wish for an injury to Dante, for Dante, but I just always got to be ready to play. Were you impressed with their defense? I thought you know they were pretty solid. Here. Yeah, their defense is very well. They had some some good players, and they definitely played hard. How's it different when you know when it's not you're not just going out there for a couple of plays, which has been kind of you know your opportunities in the past. That, you know, starting at toward the end of the second quarter, there you pretty much knew you were going to take the snaps for the rest of the game. Is it kind of fun to know that if you screw something up, you're going to get it a couple more plays to sort it out? Yeah, it's nice having a little more uh, playing time like that, and you know you're going to keep coming back out there. I mean, it's unexpected, but I mean, you got to take your opportunities as you get them. Uh, what, are there some things that you know that you improved on today that you're a better player you know, going into the next time you get a chance? Um, obviously playing in a game like that where it's, where it's meaningful and not coming out in, uh, in the end. Um, I feel like I got more comfortable in the huddle and with my teammates and you know, that's going to carry a long ways in the future. Now next week we have, you know, a practice week will be different for you next week not knowing how the down is going to be okay or is it what will change you in your practice? Yeah, I mean, we'll go from whatever happens. I'll, I'll be ready. And if Dante is back, he'll be ready, of course. And, you know, we'll go from there. Jeremy? No, I'm good. <laughs>